Hey everyone, this is Senior Stationery and today's review is on a uh, Tiffany & Co. Sterling Silver Ballpoint Pen. Um, this pen, I'm not sure uh, who manufactured it for Tiffany, but these pens seem to be from around 1960s to around 1970s. And as you can notice, this pen uh, has a very distinctive look and if you're familiar with pens or stationery in general you will recognize that the shape is very similar to the famous cross uh, um, classic century ballpoint so uh, one could infer that probably maybe cross made it for them or another pen maker made it uh, making it look a lot like the uh, famous cross pen <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Levelman. You always have got the great stuff for us. So let's take a closer look. As you can notice, the pen is, as I said, similar to the cross pen. It's also, uh, you pull the cap to change the refill. As you can notice, the mechanism is fairly similar to a cross one. It has the um, threaded knob and slim metal tube with the ink. So that's a good thing. It's not a hard to find refill for this pen. Uh, cross refills are fairly uh, easy to find and buy either online or physically. Uh, so what makes this pen uh, distinctive? Well, the barrel and the cap is fully sterling silver all the way to the tip, which is a good thing. You don't have a metal tip or, I mean, another metal chrome or plastic tip, unlike uh, cross pens. It has a chrome plated tip and the clip is also chrome plated. This one is particularly interesting because it has a diamond cut pattern which helps with the gripping while riding with it. So that makes it more comfortable. But this pen also came, for what I've uh, researched online, came with other patterns. It came with swirls like a candy cane. It also came with a uh, plain no, no pattern which also looks pretty nice and very much like a cross pen. And this one, which I particularly liked a lot, which is the diamond cut pattern. If we take a closer look now, here on the chrome clip, uh, the clip is not too ter sturdy or it works, but it's not close to the barrel, probably from some slight use over the years. And uh, not particularly is that it says Tiffany and Co printed on the clip, which is a nice touch considering that Tiffany doesn't have actually like a logo. They just have their distinctive font. And over here on the top, as I said, the good thing is the whole pen, the whole cap is all sterling silver, which is a nice touch. Over here you see where the uh, diamond cut pattern stops, as you can see. And then we have some inscription. The description basically says Sterling and Tiffany and Co. Which is a nice, elegant touch. And follows the steps of other pen manufacturers like Cross, um, Quill, and Anson, who uh, used to uh, put their logos and uh, specify the metal of if it's a fine metal pen. We twist and we reveal the tip just like a cross pen so it's fairly simple mechanism really a lovely lovely piece um, <clears throat> you can find this style of pen uh, on eBay which is where, where I found it uh, a really lovely and elegant style really this kind of tells that how even Tiffany uh, used to appreciate the lovely design of the cross shape style which is uh, tending to a dark deco art deco and a sort of modern contemporary style, which is still um, looks good and fairly modern today, considering that the cross entry is still a classic and very well sold pen. Uh, so this is an, an interesting take made by Tiffany, or made for Tiffany. So now let's take a quick uh, pen test for it, which is here in the middle, in the tip. And let's take a quick look over here okay so this is a Tiffany and Co Sterling Silver Ballpoint probably from the 1960s to 
1970s around um, <clears throat> a fairly elegant pen business pen will look pretty nice uh, you don't see that much people uh, uh, nowadays with uh, business on business environments with a uh, sterling silver pen but it's always a nice elegant touch um, considering that usually you just see black pens so it's an, an interesting take what I also wanted to do and show you is how does it differ with an actual cross sterling silver pen so let's take a look so this is a sterling silver pen from cross as you can see it's pretty much the same length and width the clip is a bit larger on the Tiffany as you can notice the chrome tip is slightly a bit bigger on the Tiffany one as you can notice slightly bigger uh, more chrome on the on the um, uh, Tiffany and then the cross clip is smaller but the clip is also sterling silver which which whereas on the um, Tiffany is chrome the cross has a plastic tip iconic black plastic tip and on the top has a dot uh, sterling silver which lets you know that this is the ballpoint pen and when you don't have the dot it's supposed to be the pencil you have the cross inscription sterling silver or in this case 925 silver made in ireland so this is one of the european made ones um, which is pretty much the same as the u.s made ones so as you can see it's pretty much the same the clip is more uh it's same as narrow as on the tiffany but slightly more stylized on the cross and also smaller but pretty much the same same twist mechanism uh the cross only came played with some lines for more gripping so the cross wasn't really made any changes on the sterling silver one and tiffany did make different engravings which was pretty good and interesting take in this case on this one you don't have any space for engraving so you pretty much cannot make any engravings on this one so i hope you like this review stay tuned for more fine stationary reviews uh, don't forget to subscribe or hit a like and thanks for watching bye bye